Hey, how y'all doing? It's your boy. The reason why I'm doing this you this uh, YouTube video is because I'm sitting here, just got finished eating dinner, you know, with the family, and I must say, this may have been the greatest spaghetti I ever made, loaded spaghetti. And this is not why I'm doing this YouTube video, but I had to shop, I had to shop myself out on this one. I'm talking about a loaded spaghetti with chicken and shrimp and sausage and hamburger meat. Oh, it was amazing. I need to sell this shit. But, but, the reason why I'm doing this, because I'm we, 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 we ate the spaghetti, I'm watching All-Star Game, then the halftime show came on, right, right, right? And the halftime show is, you know, was Jamaican themed, culturally black, you know, great halftime show, you know, and, you know, all inclusive. But here's my thing with the whole everything as far when it comes to politically correct, blah, blah, blah. When it comes to these big corporations like the NFL and the NBA and Major League Baseball and stuff like that, where they're trying to incorporate everything, you know, try to be inclusive to the African-American and every other race involved, I'm only going to speak for the African-American race. I'm only going to speak for the African-American race. Particularly when it comes to organizations like the NFL and Major League Baseball, because politicians can kiss my ass because politicians are full of bulldocky. You know, they try to be inclusive, you know, particularly when it comes to black people like this halftime show right here, you know, you know, Jamaican themed whatnot. Mind you, they're doing a Jamaican themed black halftime show in Utah. Now, anybody who's in Utah, do I, I'm going to say that one more again. In Utah, where it's like 98.5% not black people there. Okay? But um, this is my thing. I just want to send this message out quickly. You want to be inclusive, America or corporate America? I'm going to be honest with you. Majority of black people don't give a shit if you stencil in racism in an end zone at a football game. If you say in racism in a political rant, this, that, and the third. Even if you send your most popular black athletes and say, we've had enough. We don't really care. And I'm an everyday working black person, check to check black dude. We really don't care. Okay? If you want to prove that you want to end racism and make this an equal playing field, don't try to compensate us morally. Compensate us financially. A.K.A. reparations. A.K.A. pay me, bitch. A.K.A. they'll never do that. I, I you know, all of, uh, out, everybody... Everywhere is trying to morally compensate, oh, for the treatment of black people outside of the state of Florida, where Florida and DeSantis just been saying, fuck them niggas. Don't try to compensate me morally, bitch. Compensate me financially. I don't need these halftime shows with these reggae people with people. With the, I barely listen to this goddamn music. And to those who do great, if that halftime show that we just saw in the NBA halftime show was in New York, Los Angeles, ATL, uh, my uh, Florida, it would have been jumping. They had this type of halftime show in Utah. <laughs> That's what makes this funny to me. But again, all of the compensation that this country tries to do for black people, I don't want your morality compensation. I want your financial compensation. That's all. Enjoy the rest of the All-Star game.